Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today it's all about adobo verde. Now if you've never heard of adobo verde, join the club, okay? That just means a green uh, seasoning, if you will. But most people in Mexico know about adobo rojo, which is made from dried red chilies. So what I'm going to show you how to do is something that I have completely fallen in love with and always keep into my refrigerator because a little bit of it in anything from guacamole to a dip like I'm going to show you how to make today is absolutely spectacular. So it's a mixture of two different herbs and some garlic and green chilies all together in what may look to you like a pesto, but boy, it doesn't taste like a pesto. So to make the adobo verde, the first thing that we need to do is to roast garlic and green chilies. I'm using serranos here and the garlic is roasted in its papery husk. Um, that takes around 10 minutes for this garlic to get completely soft. It'll be dark in places. Once it's cooled down till it's handleable, which is what I've got here, um, I, you can just pop that little husk right off of it. Um, this piece of it needs to be peeled too. I've really peeled all the rest of it already here. Um, there you go, peeling off that little papery skin there. And we're gonna put these pieces of roasted garlic. You see how roasty they look there. I'm gonna put those all into the blender jar with those serrano chilies. This is a sort of medium spicy thing. And by the way, when you see the quantity that I'm making here, you will think, oh my gosh, I would never make that much. No, you'll make that much because it lasts for months in your refrigerator. And the next time you're making a pasta dish, say, you'll think about it and you'll just want to go in and scoop a little bit of it out to enliven that pasta dish. Now I have two bunches here of herbs. One is cilantro and one is parsley. Um, it's and sizes of bunches just are all over the board. So I'm going to tell you each one of these weighs two ounces. I would call those sort of medium large bunches. I'm just going to go in here and cut off the thick stems from the bottom and then the rest of it I'm going to put a knife through. I'm just beginning to chop it here but the blender is going to do most of the work for us here. So put that all in here. This is a great thing to keep in mind when you buy a big bunch of cilantro and you can't get through it all and you want to know you don't want to lose it so you can make it into adobo verde and you will really enjoy having that. Now about half of a cup of olive oil is going to go in there to start with and it will surprise you that we're putting two teaspoons of salt in there. This is a seasoning and this is also a way of preserving it, meaning that it will hold for a couple of months in your refrigerator. And the cool thing is it will last that long without losing its green. That's a real big plus as far as I'm concerned. Top on. And we're going to dislodge this center part so that I can stream in the other half cup of the uh, olive oil. I'm going to just start this pulsing a couple of times just to get everything to start to move through it. And now the second half of the olive oil. And we're going to let the machine run until we have what I call a coarse puree, but a puree nonetheless. All right. So I'm going to give it a taste here um, just because I like this stuff so much. When you get that little bit of roasted green chili and roasted garlic with all of the herbaceousness of parsley and cilantro, but it's all suspended in oil, which is the reason that you can pour this into a jar, put a tight sealing lid on it and put it in your refrigerator. Now, if you're using it, just make sure that if you're using it a little bit at a time, just make sure to just flatten the top after every use and maybe just pour a couple teaspoons of oil in there to make sure that it's completely covered on the top. Now I'm going to show you how I turn this into a very simple dip. 
Um, it's going to be our adobo verde dip. I'm doing the thing that they do in the Yucatan, I mean, excuse me, in the Baja Peninsula all the time, which is to mix sour cream and mayonnaise together. That's what they call the Baja Crema. And once you get that smooth, I'm going to add to it about three tablespoons of our adobo verde. So I'm going to just drizzle that in. That's about one, two, three. Of course, this would be to suit your own taste. Stir that in. Not only does it turn it an absolutely beautiful flavor, but you can imagine now what the what this bold flavored dip will be. Just pour it into a bowl so that everybody can help themselves to this very sprightly flavored dip. I've got a whole bunch of things here from the farmer's market, but this is equally as good with some poached shrimp. You could imagine this just smeared on a piece of bread when you're making a sandwich. The ideas just go on and on. So I hope you fall in love with adobo verde as I have and that you keep coming back to it to use in all different kinds of preparations. Mm -hmm.